hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are stopping by for the first time welcome my name is laifa and i'm a youtuber based in lagos nigeria today's video is another chit chat get ready with me video you guys seem to really like my last video on toxic relationships so here we are doing another one so i asked you guys on instagram what topic you guys would like me to touch on and almost every answer was relationship 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 please bear in mind i am no relationship expert at all trust me still try to figure this whole thing out so in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to know if a guy is not into you and i'm going to be doing my makeup while i'm discussing it so I'm not going to be showing you guys the products I'm using. I'm just going to list them in my description box down below because someone commented on the last one that every time I talked about something that wasn't what I was talking about in the video, it was distracting and it was stopping the flow of the gist. So in today's video, I'm just going to be talking about the topic and not the makeup. So let's get into this video. So number one is consistency and persistency. Guys, when a man is into you, when he wants you, he will be persistent. Like even when you are forming for him, he'll still be pushing and trying to make you realize that girl, I'm serious. I, I'm serious about you. I'm serious about wanting a relationship with you. He would, he would call you consistently it won't be oh hot and cold hot and cold guys that are not into you are so hot and cold like they will just have you so confused you'll be wondering what's going on today you, you think this guy really likes me like this guy is into me and then tomorrow in fact let's say one week you will not hear from him and then maybe you've already even just removed your mind from the guy and then the next minute he'll start calling you again out of the blue that's a very as in that like that's my number one number one sign to know that a guy is not into me. If you have doubts, if you have to ask, if you wonder if this guy is into you, chances are he's obviously not into you. Because if a guy is into you, he will do everything in his power to make sure that you know he will do everything to erase every doubt that you might have about his intentions towards you and my next point a guy that is not into you is always busy there is no guy as busy as a guy that is not into you i want to close the fridge i will call you back oh my god who has seen that meme it's, it's very funny but it's so true when you find yourself you are always the one calling the guy and even when you call him he's always oh babe i'm busy i'll call you back every time and he never calls back you'll still be the one to call back again you will not be finding yourself making excuses for him why are you making excuses for him every time see even if he's dangote even if he's boiry when a man wants a woman he puts her on top of his list he will make her feel, yes, I'm busy, but I'll make out time for you because you are important to me. Like, you know, if you have an atom of doubt, you know that ah, this guy is busy, but still, in his busy schedule, he takes a minute to message me, thinking of you, this, that. Like, even when you begin to doubt a little, he'll just do something to remind you that ah, I might be busy, but I'm still, I'm into you. If you find yourself being the one that calls most of the time, trust me, he's not that into you. Is not into you because a man that is into you will show you and give you attention. If he's not calling you, he's not thinking about you, you are not important to him. So even when guys make excuses like, oh, I don't like to call, so all of that is just excuses because they're not really that into you. If you really, if you're into somebody, like you would want to give them all the attention, like you don't even feel like, hope I'm not bugging this person. And the funny thing about this life, eh? Is the guy that will be giving you all the attention in the world <laughs> calling you all the time you'll be saying this guy this guy too they disturb me <laughs> then the one that you want to be the one disturbing you will not have been disturbing you you see the irony of this life oh god may god help us all in jesus name <laughs> damn girl you're looking good my makeup is coming out really beautifully today oh god i'm so sorry i said i was going to talk about my makeup <laughs> okay let me just finish doing this get to settling then i'll continue my gist if a guy is into you he would include you in any future plans
plans, long-term goals that he has. Imagine a guy that you, you think this guy is into me and he's talking about the future and you're just sitting down there. He's not even including you. You're not sitting down there wondering, am I the one that is overthinking things? <laughs> so funny to me because like this is so like this is reality i'm talking about right now you sit down there wondering a <laughs> guy is telling you my wife that i will marry in the future must be this and that are you are there <laughs> or the guy's mother will not tell you hey my daughter so hard working the man that will marry you is very lucky <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, this video was supposed to be a serious video. I don't know why I'm laughing anyhow. It's just, I've seen it all. That's why it's funny to me. Like, I can't, I'm not even bothered by all these things anymore. God is in control right now. <laughs> I can't come and keep myself. My next point is, if a guy is not into you, you meet his friends and they don't even know you. Like, he never talks about you with his friends. Even us women, when we like a guy, our friends know about him. You know how you are when you like a guy, how you tell your, your parties about the guy. Imagine it from a guy's perspective. If you don't like a guy, your friends don't even know who he is. Same way, if a guy doesn't like you, if a guy is not into you, he won't talk about you with his friends. Someone that's a mama's boy, for example, now if he likes you, first day itself, he's already talking about you with his mom. If he doesn't like you, his mom will not know who you are. If a guy is not into you, he won't do things for you. Like, giving is a sign of affection. It doesn't even have to be expensive things. It doesn't even have to be gifts or anything like that it can just be oh you've been complaining about your car you think he's having issues you think he needs servicing like you're just telling him you're not saying it for him to do anything about about it but he just calls you up one day one day and says oh um are you going going out today let me come out come and take your car and take it in for servicing oh Hmm. Like that's my love language. Like I feel like if you are into somebody, the person doesn't even need to tell you to do things. You just know. You just because you are into this person, you just you want to do little things like that for the person. A guy that is not into you will find fault in every single thing that you do. Oh my goodness! He will find something wrong in everything that you do. You constantly find yourself doubting yourself like maybe I'm the problem, maybe I'm the problem. You are not the problem or you are with the wrong person. Maybe he's just using you as a placeholder for the person that he wants so nothing that you do is right to him and a guy that is not into you is unforgiving he's not tolerant when a guy is into you when a guy wants you he's slow to anger when it comes to you like something that someone else would do might piss him off but because it's you it might piss him off but he's more forgiving and he's more tolerant oh my god another thing that i've noticed for i've noticed that guys that are not into you does is they talk about other girls to you am i the only one that finds that thing so freaking annoying like i find it so offensive a guy that's not into you will be talking about oh that girl's ass that girl's boobs and before i used to think maybe this thing is oh that means i'm his guy we are guys like he's he's that into me that he's so free like he can talk to me about anything i'm his ride or die girl you know no <laughs> no that's disrespectful if a guy is not into you that's when you'll be doing all that like he's he doesn't care when a guy is telling you things at the very beginning even if you're saying it's like a joke believe him or believe him like most of the time we know we know all the signs from the get-go but we'll just be making excuses and telling ourselves something else to make us stay and and make us feel like oh this is not really a big deal he's just a funny guy no he's not just a funny guy he's not into you and you don't deserve to be treated that way a guy that is not into you will most most of the time not do what he says he will do a guy that is into you if he tells you oh i'll pick you up by five he will pick you up by five and even if he can't pick you up by five he will let you know prior prior to that time that oh he can't pick you up something came up and it must be something important like something really important and he will he, he will be so apologetic about it but a guy that's not into you might not even remember to even call you he might not even remember that he, he made plans 
guys are jerks forget it guys please note that this video is not about my makeup <laughs> so if it doesn't turn out great we're just gisting we're doing makeup and gisting together it's not really about the makeup per se okay thank you very much a guy that's not into you he'll be careless with your emotions and your feelings and like it's just insensitive when a guy genuinely likes you when it dies genuinely into you he's so careful about your emotions it's men it's men that invented this whole nagging thing a guy that's not into you now will not say you are you are nagging you are not nagging you are not a nag it's men that concocted that word nagging oh i don't i don't like women that nag <laughs> do you know what just came to my mind there are two things i don't like being questioned and being checked up on. <laughs> Did I say it right? I can't remember if I said it right. <laughs> comment in the comment section down below if you know what I was referring to. Okay, if you don't know what I was referring to, it's from a form from Grace. Tyler Perry is so god. Like I watched that movie in the middle of the night. I thought I was going to sleep off because I, I was like really tired. And the movie was like two hours or even more. But guys, I finished it. That movie and Acre Money. I like my best movies from Tyler Perry, I think. And I love that Tyler Perry's movies always have a lesson in them. Alright guys, so I went ahead to pop on some lashes from Glam Addict Lashes. Then I smoked black on my lower lash line. A guy that is into you will want to stake his claim. He will want people to know this is my girl. He will be territorial, you get. But a guy that's not into you, he doesn't even doesn't care and if the guy is like a social media kind of person who wants to put you up bae this that if you know that he's that kind of person this one is not this one's kind of tricky sha like someone like me if i really like you i'm not going to put you on my social media because that's just not me i don't feel like people should know my personal business that's that's just so that's why i said it's, it's kind of tricky but if you know that he's that kind of person and he's not doing it then that means he doesn't like him and there's this thing that's still having said that stuck with me the three p's you can check on youtube or online wherever you find it according to steve harvey he said if a guy loves you these three p's will be there the first p is protect profess and provide if a guy loves you he will protect you if he loves you he will profess it he will let the world know he will scream it out to the whole world oh i'm into this girl this girl is driving me crazy everybody around him is going to know and he <clears throat> and if he's into you he will provide for you no matter how little he will try and be the man for you like like Steve Harvey has said it already and then another thing that I would like to add is if you find yourself giving like 100% and the guy is giving you like 50% that's already like ging, 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 ging. you know that this guy is not into it for example now for me my love language is phone calls if I'm the one having to call you almost all the time and you're never the one to call me that's already a red flag I'm using um, Yanga Beauty Bokish as my highlighter. Guys, I feel so pretty! Like, oh my god! I find Sha. I'm on my bum find the king. Alright, lips. Guys, you already know. Nude! I can't come and kill myself. Don't be scared. Although there are some people that actually go around looking like this. I hope they change in the year 2020. So this is pretty much the makeup look that we ended up with. It's pretty simple and still in my safe comfort zone. Even though this video was not as serious as I should have made it, I hope we were able to take something from this video. Like I said before, I'm not a relationship expert. I'm still learning, I'm still figuring things out about this whole dating, relationships. It's not easy. 
anybody that says it's easy it's just lying it's just the grace of god and most of the situations that i talked about i found myself in some of them so i'm speaking out of experience i'm not just saying what i don't know like at the time when it was happening i didn't really understand but after you've left that situation when you think back to it you you understand that this was what what it was there's something that we have intuition we know we know these things we know we can tell when a guy's into us and when he's not into us i know that it's easier said than done but this year 2020 we we are not going to allow time wasters in our space 2020 we are saying no and we are praying against time wasters this year 2020 we're not going even guy is giving you these signs from the beginning it's easier said than done but from the get go when you're seeing these signs just don't even give the person the time of day just don't even allow the person in your space just one thing i would just like to say before i end this video is it's better to be single <laughs> Than to be with a guy who treats you the way you you're not supposed to be treated you deserve to be treated like a queen you deserve a man that will love you the way christ loves the church instead of feeling bad and feeling like something is wrong and being desperate and allowing fuck boys in your space just be single it's better to be single than to be having all that drama all that heartache just pray to god to help you be content in that phase because it's a phase everything everything that's a phase will definitely pass and get to the next level so our prayer this year should just be that god should help us to be content during the waiting period and to help us to prepare like being in a serious relationship leading to marriage marriage is no joke so <laughs> In as much as we all want to move to the next level and get married, the next level requires preparation. So just we should just pray to God to help us to prepare for that next level and to be content in waiting and trusting in Him and trusting God's process and God's timing. So yeah, I think that's what I wanted to say. I'm not sure. I've lost. I don't know what to say in this video again. <laughs> I had so many thoughts in my head when I wanted to do this video and I don't know if I was able to put that across. I feel like when I'm editing this video, I will now be remembering things that I, would, I should have mentioned in this video. So if you're like me and you have something in your head that I didn't mention in this video, please let us know in the comment section down below. Let's continue this conversation. Let's help ourselves. Because 2020, none of that. None of that in 2020. So yeah. I love you guys and I want us all to win. I want us all to be happy because happiness is so key. Like when people ask me what's my goal in life, like my number one goal is to be happy. There's no, I'm telling you that even if you have all the money, you have everything that you've ever wanted and you're not happy, hey God, you can't even start thinking of committing suicide. Like it's, it's happiness is key. So my prayer for all of us is to be happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I definitely enjoyed filming it. <laughs> it was a fun video. So let me know in the comment section down below what else you guys, what other topics you guys would like me to talk about. If you like these sorts of videos, if you don't like these sorts of videos, let me know in the comment section below what you would want to see from my channel this year, this year 2020. I don't want to be putting out filler videos, just putting out videos for the sake of putting out videos. I rather post once a week and it's a video that you guys would like and appreciate that and post crappy videos so this year i'm trying to be intentional and also i started my weight loss journey dieting going to the gym it's my third week at the gym now and i want you guys to hold me accountable i want you guys to help me on this journey let's help ourselves if you're also on the weight loss journey please follow me on instagram please i need motivation like i need ginger like 2019 came and went and I still did not do all that I said I was going to do and 2020 I'm being intentional about all my goals and everything that I want to do and achieve and My weight loss journey is Number one on my list like I really want to get I really want this weight loss to be a lifestyle exercising eating right like our body is the temple of God so 
you should actually try to make sure that this temple is in good shape thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please like please drop a comment in the comment section please subscribe if you're not subscribed already i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys